You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 26 to 16 and 4a. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said this thanks to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you, so that when there are comes, you may remember that I told you about them. Good day and welcome back. You know, I'm intrigued. What does it feel like to have a large inheritance? Do you think the heirs or the beneficiaries will feel overwhelmed, stressed, emotionally and financially burdened? and not know how to handle their inheritance? For one thing, they will feel doubly blessed with a tinge of guilt receiving such a legacy from which they have not shed a single drop of blood. Handling a large inheritance is a blessing and a huge responsibility for them. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, He left His disciples a spiritual legacy and he promised them that the spirit of truth would guide, strengthen, and inspire them as they live their legacy of faith. The disciples must have felt honored and privileged. Imagine, these were ordinary men with no high standing in Jerusalem. And yet, here they are with the Son of God, bequeathing a vital and noble mission of testifying His divinity to all the world's people. Although I guess the disciples were not probably overwhelmed by that. Instead, they must have been listening to Jesus with mixed emotions of sadness because He was leaving them. They feared what would happen to them, human as they were, anxious, also because the mission entrusted to them seemed too great to accomplish. So, to encourage and reassure them, Jesus promised to send the Advocate. He said, I will send to you from the Father the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father. He will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said this thanks to you to keep you from stumbling. May I repeat, you also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. It was an assurance that the Holy Spirit would work with them because they had been living with Jesus. Something crossed my mind. Sometimes in our lives, we feel too small to accomplish something beyond our expertise our competence. We are in a dilemma. But we have to make a choice, especially if it is a call of duty. Today's gospel reminds us that as long as we believe in the power of grace and we sincerely call on God for help, considering that He is present within us, He will certainly send us the Holy Spirit who will make all things 
possible. Because if God is with us, who can be against us? Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.